I've been able to grow an online store that's now done over $2 million, starting with basically nothing. And the thing that I've learned is whether you're selling a digital, physical, handmade, or even AI generated product, the blueprint is always the same. The key is that some products can get you to your financial goals a lot faster than others. Today, we're looking at a product with that potential. The shop that's inspired this video has gone from zero to well over $280,000 in profit in less than a year selling Tumblr artwork. Today, we're looking at exactly how they did it and how we can use AI to replicate their success so that we can hopefully make some quick bread online. The Tumblr artwork niche meets all of the requirements that we would want to look for. It's sellable on Etsy, which out of the three platforms that I've had some success selling on, is the cheapest and easiest platform to use. It can be sold as a digital or physical product using print-on-demand, and the designs can be replicated and automated using AI so you aren't stuck at your computer making every single design by hand. Now to show you how well this works, let's look at this shop called Tara Sparks. I did mention this one a while back when I covered seven different AI businesses, and they're primarily selling these Tumblr wraps or Tumblr artwork. They're selling them for personal or commercial use, so other businesses can buy their designs and sell them on physical tumblers, or customers can just buy the designs directly. According to Allura, this shop opened on September 6th of 2022, which was 344 days ago. So if we divide their 94,000 sales by the 344 days that their shop has been open, we can see that they've done on average 243 sales each day. Then if we just browse through their catalog, we can see that their base prices are between $2.97 on the lower end and $7 for some of the more expensive packs. That means that they're making anywhere from $800 to $2,000 each day in profit from their shop. And they opened it less than a year ago. This means that their first year in business, they're going to make somewhere between $300 and $700,000 in profit. Now their designs look well-made and complex, but in reality, they're nothing too special. And it looks like a lot of them are made using AI. If you look really closely, you can see small little imperfections and odd little marks that a human wouldn't really add if they were making this design. Not to mention that they have a ton of listings in their shop. Now, if that's not enough proof, here's another shop selling the same exact product, just different designs. Now they are selling more of these custom style designs, which take more work than the AI ones, but I did find some AI designs in their shop as well. Now they've priced their items at $1.80, which means they've been slightly less monetarily successful. But the reason this shop caught my eye is because Marketplace Pulse has them in the top 100 shops with over 15,000 sales in the last 30 days. That means that even with their lower price, they could have easily done around $28,000 in profit. These shops are no longer in the side hustle territory. This is really full-time income level. Now they are not only selling AI designs and they have some other items in their shop as well, but when you see how easy it is to make designs using AI, I think you'll understand why they've been so successful. There are other successful shops doing this as well, but you can use Allura, which I'll leave a link for down below to check those out for yourself if you want to. To handle the most difficult part of the business, which is making designs, I'm going to be using Midjourney, a text to image AI that allows us to make perfectly fitting designs for our tumblers. Now to get the most out of Midjourney, since unfortunately it is a paid subscription, I'll show you how to make high quality images, make seamless wraparound designs, and queue dozens of images so that you don't have to sit at your computer generating each one. I'm not going to cover how to sign up because I've covered that before, so just sign up using Discord, and once you're logged into the server, it should look something like this. Now, I like to use my own chat room, which again, I've already covered. So check out my previous tutorials afterwards to see how to do all of that. But in this text field, all you'll want to do is come down and type out forward slash imagine, and then hit enter. And this little prompt box is where we'll type out the prompt for the type of image we want to make. Now, if we wanted to make a design similar to this one that's sold pretty well, this design looks super complex and like it would take a really long time to make by hand. It's a pumpkin and a kind of magical looking forest with a glowing moon in the background. So for my prompt, I might say a spooky jack-o'-lantern in a magical glowing forest with a bright glowing moon in the background. 
and then I could say comma Halloween vibe. Then to make sure that the image is the right size for our Tumblr, we can just add to the end dash dash AR and then put a space 128 colon 69. And once this is done generating it, you can see that we're left with four pretty good images. And if we like any of them, we can use the controls below it to upscale or enlarge any of those images. Now this is already great and much better than anything I can make by hand, but we can also make designs seamless so that they blend together at the back of the cylindrical style tumblers. To do that, I'm just going to use the same prompt as before and then just add dash dash tile to the end of it. Now this is just going to turn it into a pattern graphic, which means that it's going to have seamless edges. So if it's printed correctly, you won't be able to find the border on the back. You can upscale this in the same way using the controls down below and just double check to make sure it's seamless before you advertise it that way. Now, if you decided to take this seriously, sitting down and typing out each prompt would be quite time consuming. So here's a way to queue up a bunch of designs just by writing one prompt. So we can use the Halloween idea for our niche and the same prompt as our kind of template. Now, as you can see here, we kind of have a jack-o'-lantern as our subject. So maybe we want to change out the subject for each prompt it runs. What I can do is just select that and replace it with some curly brackets. And inside those curly brackets, I can type out different characters that I want. So maybe I want a cute ghost, a black cat, and a spider and just make sure that each one is separated by a comma. Now, if I ran this as is, it would generate basically the same scene just with a ghost, a cat, and a spider, but we could change our scene. So instead of a magical glowing forest, maybe we want to change forest with a, a graveyard, village, and a swamp. So now we're gonna get nine images and the cat is gonna appear in a graveyard, a village, and a swamp, and same with all of the other characters. So you can see how that's much faster than sitting there and typing out each prompt manually. If we hit submit, it'll generate all of those prompts, and then just remember that each prompt is gonna generate four images. So you're gonna get a ton of images just from writing this single prompt. I will mention that there are restrictions on the amount of combinations you can make, so I'm only allowed to do 10, but I think regardless, this is still the fastest way. And once these images are done generating, it's the same process as before. Now, even though these images are great, it doesn't even stop there. We could do the same exact prompts, but at the end, we can tell it what style we want it to be in. We could say a hand-drawn style, a hand-drawn doodle style, some watercolor art, stained glass style art, oil paint style art, a contemporary art style, an abstract art style, realism art, if you wanted to get an anime style, you can add the dash dash Niji parameter. You could do modern art, pop art, or even low res pixel art. And that's just the beginning of what you could do. I also have to mention the obvious here that you can't sell just whatever Midjourney spits out. It's only worth posting the good designs that it makes. Now, occasionally you'll have errors in your images because the AI isn't perfect. And if that's the case, here's a super easy way to fix them. We can use this website called PhotoP. It's just a free alternative to Photoshop. So all I have to do is drag in the image that has the errors in that I want to edit. And on the left-hand side, I'm just going to select this healing tool. Now, depending on how large the head of the brush is or the size of the cursor that you see, I can just click any area that has a deformity or a weird graphical error, and it will do its best to heal that area. And you can do this as much or as little as you need. And once you're done here, you can just save it back to your computer as a completed design. Making the product is the hard part and selling it is surprisingly easy if you understand the correct method. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, you want to have an Etsy shop to sell these designs. They drive hundreds of millions of monthly visitors to their website, which just ends up being free traffic to you. You can use the link down below this video to get 40 free listings. And once you're signed up, there's only three elements that you need to get your listings in front of customers. But first, if you're going to be drop shipping at physical tumblers alongside the digital downloads, then we just have one additional step. Printify is the print on demand company that I use, and they have a ton of different tumbler options. Since you're already making these designs, it just makes sense to post them on the physical products to sell as well. Printify makes it so that you can upload the artwork we've generated directly to the Tumblr of your choice. Since Printify integrates directly with Etsy, you can publish it directly to your Etsy shop right after uploading the art. Printify is basically the same as a digital download. 
When an order comes in, Printify sends that artwork over to the print facility where it's printed and shipped off directly to your customer's door. Using this method has made me a substantial bag over the past couple years, and that's why I push it so hard to you guys. Just over the last five months since I've had my Printify affiliate link, I can see that you guys have made over $100,000. So yes, selling a physical product works just as well. And if you went with this business model, you'd be making the designs anyway. Now, whether or not you're using Printify to dropship the tumblers as well, the first step to building out the listing is getting a mock-up. This is what the customer sees and ultimately convinces them to buy. You can usually find good templates on websites like Etsy for some Canva mock-ups. Rawpixel has some good options. Creative Market has some higher quality ones, but they're usually a slightly higher price but I'm just going to be using this one that I found on Freepik. Now, since mine is a .pst or a Photoshop mockup, I'm going to be using that same website that we used earlier, PhotoP, to edit it. I just have to open it up and find the smart object that's almost always going to be down on the right-hand side of the layers panel. I just double click it to make edits, and this is where I can drag in the image that we made from Midjourney and I'll just make sure that it fits. And now you can see that we have something that we could use as our listing image to sell our Tumblr wrap. Now, I know I went over that quickly, but it really isn't too difficult, so don't overcomplicate it. The final step to the listing is to simply get the listing details, the title and tags that are actually going to get your product in front of the customers who want to buy them. So we need to search for a product in the niche that we're selling. So we would want to search in this case for a Halloween Tumblr wrap. And then we just want to choose one of the top listings that aren't paid ads because we want the ones that are just ranking organically. So I will choose this one. And then I want to scroll to the bottom of the page where we can see the tags. Each one of these bubbles is essentially its own tag. Now, since I use the Allura plugin, I can just hit copy to copy all of the tags to my clipboard, and then I can paste them into my listing. The title is basically the same process except we're not going to copy their title directly, but instead we're just going to use the main keywords that they're using and replace some of the keywords with our own. And those are the three elements that will get your listings in front of customers. Everything else would be up to you to refine the listing and make it more attractive to the customers. Just like the rest of the businesses and side hustles that I've talked about on my channel, it takes a ton of time and effort to grow a business of any level. The shops that we've looked at today have managed to do it quickly, but that's because they've put in a ton of work. If you want to achieve the same results as they have, you absolutely can do it, but you have to be willing to put in at least as much work as they have. And that might mean making the same amount of high quality listings as they've posted. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know what questions you have down below. Check out this video next. And as always,